Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. Hi, this is Tim with Morial TV and Morial Radio here live with James Jacob Prash, live in Galilee, Israel. Jacob, one of the believers, had the question based on Acts chapter 2, verse 5, how could Jews from every nation under heaven have been in Jerusalem? Okay, first of all, this could be understood as an act as an Aramaic and or a Greek idiom, an idiomatic expression. Everything under the sun, everything under heaven. It could just be a colloquialism, an idiomatic expression, something that is understood to be hyperbolic. It's not saying from every single country. But more likely, in addition, it would be every nation where there were Jews at that time. The known world largely consisted of the Roman Empire, the adjacent Armenian and Parthian empires, and certain areas of Africa. Not much was known beyond the Indus River or the wilderness of Baluchistan concerning the Far East. There were not major Jewish communities anywhere else we know of other than around the Mediterranean basin, not even into Central Europe or the Northern Roman Empire at that early point, there would have been very few Jews. But there would have been Jews around the Mediterranean, there would have been Jews in Parthia, there would have been Jews in the Arabian Peninsula, there would have been Jews in North Africa. And as a pilgrim feast, they would have ventured and planned to come for some time, the way someone would today in modern terms plan a long trip, say by automobile, in the United States or Canada or countries where you can drive huge distances. People living in Sydney or Melbourne planning a trip for some months or for some time to drive to Perth, Australia, or to drive to Los Angeles from New York or something of that nature, to Vancouver from Montreal, something like this planning a big trip ahead of time to come to observe a pilgrim feast. That is how we understand that and explain it. There were not Jews in every nation at that time. There were Jews in the Roman Empire and around the adjacent areas to it. So hence, we can understand it as being every nation under heaven where there were Jews. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Morial catalog on the Morial website, morial.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea. It's an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church 
knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo. What the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.